eyes. My mum is a fairy with long flowing hair, surrounded by glitter with a whiff of perfume in the air. My mum is a teacher who can turn strict with a click. She chases all the children and loves to make them laugh. My mum is a dancer who shimmies and shakes, wearing shiny and silky costumes in every colour of the rainbow. My mum is an artist, turning blank paper into a masterpiece with a flash. She frowns when she concentrates, especially when trying to draw hands. My mum is a wife, always supportive to my dad, and together they're the best parents I've ever had. My mum is a hero who's always by my side, who heals me with her Reiki, who hugs me when I cry. But my mum has her moments, like putting cookies on a grilling pan, squashing oranges with a car. Her laugh can be heard around for miles. She lights up a room with her pearly smile. But most importantly, my mum is my mum. Well, so we just do a list now, and then, yeah, we've got a little face, but like, can I go there, can I wear somebody in there? Yeah. There to see what the girls are doing, and the boys, they're making, uh, with sticks, they're making little things that could be, finally become sculpture, and could finally be used to make a finished article in school, which we're now making next door. Is there one? Um, they're going to get together abstract elements with representational elements. So we've got a boy and a girl um, because if they're trying to build something, something new for for the school. My name is Megan. My Cal. And David, the sculptor, has helped us produce a sculpture for our new school. Um, this is our first uh, sort of map we made, and we're going to make others and put it around the design that we're making. We'd like, we'd like to uh, make another person, and the bar's coming up here, and he's sort of going to help the other man, this guy, produce a climbing room. Um, we'd like to make other people, and Callum has other ideas for other things. So it's going to be like a sort of play area, so go up the ladder, slide in there, then there's a seating area underneath. Hello, my name is Helen, and I'm on the Tom D site, working on the sculpture that I'll look at. It's going to be based in the new school grounds. My sculpture is based on a woman and a man helping each other, going up a ladder. It's made out of wood and clay, finished. Hi, I'm Miss Roberts, one of the art department. Um, it's a really nice opportunity today for the pupils to work with David and to have some influence maybe on the um, sculpture that will eventually go in a new school. In our English name. Also, another thing to think about is energy, you know? <laughs> Like when you're ecstatic, the energy is just flowing madly. It's like a mad nervous energy. But think about when you're kind of like low or depressed. It just, the energy slumps, doesn't it? You know, and your whole body kind of turns into this kind of like... Hi, I'm Miss Wendt, English teacher for Colic. I'm an Edel of that when It's a fantastic opportunity for the children to get to work with an actual professional writer. So working with Rian, um, on their poetic skills and whatnot, that's wonderful for them to get the opportunity to be a little bit more creative and obviously to have um, put their mark on the actual school itself then when the, the school is built by having their poetry and the sculpture displayed for everybody to see. Hi, I'm Natalie Jones and today we are at Tom D's site documenting the poetry and art with David and Rian and which will be presented in the new school in September. I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to create something new and return. and I'm a student from Colic and Earth on the area from the Brink Ethan site. And as you can see, this is the site for the new school. And it's uh, a building site, as you can see. And it's due to open in 2013, so looking forward to it. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> OK, ours is called, ours is called Help in Hand. Um, the whole thing of this was that um, the blocks by you represent the ladder that is broken, and then someone has come out of their own will to come and help this person achieve what she needs to do 
and that was the whole concept, like resembling with school, like the ladder of achievement. And it's like saying that it's a nurturing school, and that there's always someone there to help you. Fabulous. And um, based on the poems. Great poems. Um, when you think you can't do it, just stop for a minute and think about what you can do. Because no matter what, there's no reason to stop. There will be someone there for you. Fabulous, right? Um, our model represents um, friendship, teamwork, and various learning pathways. Um, we've written our poem across a seating area where um, students will be able to sit and just talk to their friends. We named it Fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our poem. We start off as baby birds, hatching from our eggs, spreading our feathers for the first time, learning slowly how to fly. Our wings take us skyward to follow our spirits towards, towards horizons.